This is a deadlift. It's a great exercise to tone your buttocks and your hamstrings, as well as your core. So you're gonna stand with your feet together this time. Belly button in, weights at your side. And you really wanna make sure that you pull your shoulder blades back and hold that position throughout. With a slight bend of the knee, you're just gonna fall forward. Weights hang in front of you. Just when you're a little bit past the knee, pull your belly button in, squeeze your glutes the whole way. Squeeze, 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 squeeze and tuck in. Now to modify this exercise, you can drop the weights. If you'd like to increase it, add a little bit more weight or do more repetitions. This is called plank to push up. It's one of the number one best strengthening exercises you can do because it combines two of the best exercises all together. So you want to do this exercise about five to ten times. So you're going to come down into a nice plank position. Now, you want to use all your body strength, never coming over too much. You want to be all in alignment, pulling the core in. Try not to dip your spine. You always want to stay strong and straight. Up, up, down, down. Now, if you need to modify, you can come down on your knees. And if you'd like to amplify, we're going to do a full push-up in between. So coming up, 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 push-up, up, down, down, this is called bow extension. It's a great way to work your abs because you're working in many different directions, so you're really getting deep in there. We want to start about hip width apart, small weight in your hands, and bring your hands up over your head. The important thing to remember is keeping your hips forward and also not raising your shoulders up. You want to keep your shoulders down. Slight direction to the top, leg comes out, and you really want to do a hard side crunch. Get deep in there. Now if you need to modify, best just to drop the weight. If you want to amp things up a little bit, increase your reps or the weight that you have in your hand. You want to aim to do about 10 to 12 repetitions. This is skater lunge with front raise. Not only are you focusing on your shoulders, but you're also working in a lateral direction which really slims down the hips. So you're going to start with hip width apart and you're gonna fire up right down into a deep lunge, bringing the arms up. Now, if you wanna modify, drop the weights. And if you wanna amp things up a little bit, you're gonna just kick your foot out to the side when you come up. 